Good day to all of you. I am your student nurse, Ms. Ilian Saladino from BSN1A, a nursing student at Isabella State University. And today, I will be demonstrating the Gordon's 11 Functional Health Patterns. Gordon's Functional Health Patterns provide a holistic model for assessment of the family because assessment data are classified under 11 headings. It also provides objective data that may indicate future decline or improvement in health status, allowing the nurse to plan and intervene appropriately. Before we start assessing the patient, we must first check his or her chart. Medical charts contain medically relevant events that have happened to a person. A good medical chart will paint a clear picture of the patient. Next is to wash hands and observe appropriate infection control procedures. Nurses washing their hands not only prevent them from getting sick, but it also reduces the risk of infecting others. If they don't wash their hands properly before coming into contact with others, they can infect their patients and also their family members. You may take a seat, sir. Thank you, Paul. So, good day, sir. I am your nurse practitioner for today from Isabella State University, and I will be completing your appointment for today. So, I'm just going to ask you a few questions about why you are here and also a little background or history um, about you. If you feel uncomfortable answering my questions, just let me know, sir, okay? So before we move on, can you please state your name and the date of your birth? I am Daryl J. J. Escaranza and my birthday is July 19, 2003. Okay. So we're just doing this to ensure that I am with the right patient and you don't have to worry about the information you're going to share with me because um it will remain confidential unless any healthcare um, personnel would want to know your information for your care. So for the first set of uh, health assessment, this is about health perception and health management pattern. So this assessment is to enable a more thorough report that clarifies about your condition. So how would you describe your usual health status? Um, now I have, I feel, uh, I have a back pain. Okay, back pain. <clears throat> Are you satisfied with your health status? Um, now I am, I am in pain. Okay, in pain. Are you immunized about the seven target diseases? Um, no. What's your last immunization? Um, when I took the COVID uh, vaccine. Do you have any allergy? I'm not. Uh, any surgery in past, sir? None. None. Um, any last physical examination? And for what purpose? Um, I took my uh, last physical ex examination in our PE class. PE class. Are you using any medicine recently? Uh, just vitamins. Vitamins. Um, do you know about this vitamins? Um, it's a uh, vitamin B complex. B complex. Okay. So for the next set of questions, this is for your nutrition and metabolism pattern. So this is to define your nutritional status and to define whether there are relevant malnutrition and to monitor changes in your nutritional status. So what's the current condition of your skin, scalp, and nails? Uh, sometimes my skin is dry, but my scalp and nails are okay. Okay, dry, good. Do you have any diet menu? Um, none, I eat what I want. Any food restriction regarding disease point of view? Uh, no. Um, what about food restriction regarding religious point of view? Ah, uh, wala naman po. Wala? 
any food like or dislike? Um, I like foods that are spicy and mm -hmm. I don't like foods that are sour and salt. Okay. So, Do you have any food allergy? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. So for your elimination, elimination pattern, this is to ensure that you have a regular bowel movement and adequate urination and to identify kung merong abnormalities. So, um, what is your usual ano, color of your urine? Um, I think it's yellow. Yellow? How frequent do you pee? Um, usually, uh, three to four times a day. Three to four times. Do you have any urinary problems, sir? Uh, no. None. Um, what is the color of your stool? Uh, usually, it's uh, light brown. Light brown. How frequent do you void, sir? Uh, one to two times. One to two. Are you using any laxative? No. Okay, no. Any problem with uh, during passing defecation? Uh, no. No. Okay, for your activity and exercise pattern, this can improve your health and para ma-reduce yung risk of having several disease. So, do you have any breathing problem? Uh, no, I don't have. No. Do you have cough? Um, yes. Is it productive or non-productive? It's non-productive. Okay, yes, non-productive. Uh, is there any changes in heartbeat during exercise? Um, yes, minsan bumibilis. Do you feel pale during exercise? No. No. Uh, what type of exercise do you uh, use? Like uh, aer aer aerobic exercise. Aerobic. So for your cognitive and perceptual pattern, in this assessment, sir, it focuses on the ability to comprehend and use information on the sensory functions. So, how do you describe your orientation about time, place, and person, sir? All good. So, are you having difficulties in sentence making? Uh, no. No. Any loss of memory? No. <clears throat> so, for the next set of questions, which is the sleep and rest pattern, uh, sir, sleep is a vital end which is often um, neglected. So this is a component of every person's overall health and well-being. So what's your sleeping hour? Um, six to seven hours. Are you taking a nap? Ah uh, yes, sometimes. What do you feel after waking, sir? I feel drowsy. Are you using any medication for sleeping? Uh, no. no. Do you have any exercise or walking at night? Uh, no. Um, okay. So for your self-perception and self-concept pattern, this is to understand the man what attitudes or emotions you are experiencing internally. So sir, what is your self-perception about yourself? Um, I am pessimist. Pessimist. Are you satisfied with your body image? Yes. Do you like grooming? Uh, sometimes. Okay. The next set of questions. It's all about your roles and relationships pattern. What is your role in the family, sir? Um, I am the youngest son. Yes. Um, if you are in hospital, who will perform your responsibilities? Uh, my older brother. So, um, all the family members are cooperative with you? Yes. Who is the decision maker in your family? Uh, my parents. So moving on to your sexuality and reproduction pattern, um, if you feel uncomfortable answering these questions, just let me know, sir, okay? okay? Okay. 
So, how is your sexual life so far? Uh, it is not active. Okay, it's, it's not active. Do you have any sexual problem like loss of libido? No. Okay. Um, what about infertility problem? No. So, for your coping and stress tolerance pattern, if you have stress, then what is your coping mechanism towards stress? Um, I am using my phone and social media and I am going out with my friends. Social media and friends. Okay, so we are now in the last pattern which is the values and belief pattern. So, may I ask sir, what is your religion? Um, I am a Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic. Do you offer prayer? Yes. So, are there any other things we haven't talked about that you would like to mention? I think wala naman lang. Okay, none. Do you have any questions and clarifications, sir? Um, no. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you for your time answering these questions and I will forward this to the doctor and we'll see how we will proceed. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Okay.